So a couple months later, back on this 2004 Nissan Xterra with the rich condition. Uh, the shop owner tells me that they got a brand new OE uh, mass airflow sensor from the Nissan dealership and also uh, an air filter. It's still throwing the same P0172 rich code, but the driver of the vehicle, the owner, he um, he's a delivery driver, so he drives this thing hundreds of miles a day. And he said that he's noticed a substantial improvement in fuel economy with the OE mass airflow sensor. However, the check engine light is still coming on. So we're here to take another look at it. Here it is, fully warmed up. You can see our long-term trims are minus 27 on both banks. Short term is minus 10 on both banks at idle. And we're reading 4.3 grams per second at a hot idle. It should be closer to 3 grams per second. It's a 3 liter V6 engine. Or is it a 3.3? But anyways, if we put it under load, do the fuel trims get any better? Not really. They're still minus 25 in the long and minus 10 or minus 15 on the short. See, it's in control. Back to an idle. But it's still way too rich. It's over-reporting the mass airflow. What are the variables here? Oh, we sensor. Hitachi, made in Japan, there's the part number, AFH7016A. Now on these three wires, I just want to put a voltmeter on it. So that's the power feed to the sensor, that's fine, 14.2 volts. Second wire is the green, let's see what that reads. Seven millivolts, that's a good ground. Sensor ground. Finally the signal. One point two volts. Okay. That should be closer to one volt. Well, let's write these numbers down. And I don't really know what other variables there are. So with the engine off, key on, we're reading about 300 millivolts. So 0 0.3 volts on the signal wire. And that's equivalent to 0 0.35 grams per second. Let me compare these numbers to what we saw before and see if this sensor is different from the aftermarket sensor and then what else do we do? So looking up the OE specs on this mass airflow sensor, um, so it says uh, key, key on engine off, less than one volt, yes we had 300 millivolts. Idle engine is warmed up to normal operating temperature between 1 and 1.7 volts. We have 1.2, it's within spec, but why is the actual computer reporting 4.25 grams per second? Pretty crazy. Um, 2500 RPM? Well, we can try that. It's supposed to be 1.7 to 2.3. We'll have to look at the voltmeter, but idle to about 4,000 RPM, approx 
Huh. There's not much else it can be. Over reporting mass airflow sensor or the computer is not. I mean, could it be a non original computer? I have no idea. So at 2500 RPM, we're exactly at two volts on the money. And we're reading 15.7 grams per second. And our spec is right on the money. 1.7 to 2.3, we're at 2.0. 2.0. volts of 15 grams per second. This just blows my mind. Alright, so here's my next experiment. I got a decade box, variable resistance, right? I want to get this mass airflow voltage down to closer to 1 volt instead of 1.2 and see if the fuel trim stabilizes, if the truck is happy. So right now I have it dialed up to 3,000 ohms, which is starting at 3,000. We're pretty close to 1 volt, we're at 2.7 grams per second at 750 RPM. Uh oh. I might have been a glitch. And look at our trend, right around zero. So this thing wants to be around one volt at a hot idle. Not sure why. This isn't changing, so I'm not sure why this is going weird here on the data stream. Put it under some load. See how the truck responds. See, see how it, you know, runs. Let's actually shut it off. Key back on. This should drop to, yep, okay, 0.34. That's fine. Let's see how it starts. Fuel trims are single digits. I like it. Revs up great. I'm gonna put it under load and drive. Let's see what the fuel trims do. Single digits, that should not set a code. Okay. Truck seems to be happy. Right around three grams per second at hot idle. See, if the fuel trims are good, then the computer's happy. <laughs> Let's, um, I'm tempted to just permanently wire in a three kilo ohm resistor between the sensor wire and the ground wire here. Let's see how this thing performs. So we're trying a junkyard OEM sensor. This is I trust more than brand new OE. But we still have 1.2 volts, three of almost four grams per second. We're going way negative on the short term. It's not happy. But as soon as we add three Kilo ohms of resistance, drop it down to 2.8. We should stabilize right out. About 1.05 volts. Sure to be happy right there. That's what it wants to see. So you might say there's still a problem there. Is there still a problem? Is the computer a little out of calibration? The sensor seems to be reading 
you know, I, I trust the mass airflow sensor now. That voltage getting to the computer, why is that reading slightly, like slightly too much air? We don't know, but if it runs great with the bypass resistor, then this truck can keep on, keep on trucking. That's what we're gonna do. So in my, in stock, in the Radio Shack pile here, I have some vintage resistor packs. And we're gonna take a one kilo ohm plus a 2.2 kilo ohm in series, so time to just twist them together. And we're gonna tie, tie this between the signal and the ground. See how it works. All right, so this is with this resistor in place instead of the decade box. 2.9 grams per second, we're at about 0% in the trims. Beautiful. Let's raise the RPMs up a little bit. So I'm gonna put it under some load. We'll see if that's that's enough. Yeah, of All course, right. Ryan, almost almost empty. Yeah, you know, uh, guy. Yep, yep. I've seen that before. So we're taking it for a spin with the uh, resistor installed. I'm gonna give it a little more a little more load. I want to see how it. So far, so good. Okay. Yep. Try, try to do a little burnout from the from the stop sign. I want to see the, uh, the response here. Make sure there's no no hesitations because you know delivery guys they. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Not bad. Fuel trims are right on the money. So you want to go up a bigger hill? Yeah, we go up a bigger hill and then maybe take it for a five minute cruise on the on the highway or something, but just want to make sure that none of these fuel trim codes are turned. All right, so wide open throttle test. Indeed, the oxygen sensor does go rich. Perfect. We've got good power. All right, do like uh, maybe half throttle. So that was open loop test. Passed with flying colors there. Yeah, there's a little ghost up on the roof. Oh, okay, that was the that was the hill. Perfect. So fuel trims are always within you know, single digits. So long term stable at minus seven, minus three, and minus seven there. Depends on the on the load cell, but a huge improvement over minus thirty percent. So let's check for any pending codes. No fault code, all right, Bill, so far so good. Good. All right, we're cruising on the highway. Looking beautiful. 
you know, long term trims within 10%, that's fine. Power feels good, Bill? Yep. Yep. Okay, no check engine lights, no coach pending. So, I think we'll leave it at that. Again, this isn't my uh, first resort, it's the wire and resistors, but in this case, don't find anything else wrong. You know, maybe the computer sensing circuit, just from age, it's a little off. What are you gonna do? We'll try a, you know, a 50 cent resistor versus a multi hundred dollar computer from a junkyard, which might not work anyways. Correct. Yeah. If this works and it's reliable, then this is the optimal solution. Um, and that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. -bye. There's our resistor pair, soldered in. Just tape the whole thing up and this truck should be back on the road. No check engine lights.